a good and godly day to everyone. We continue with our presentation of the computation of non-parametric statistics test using an Excel template. This video will present to us the computation of the Wilcoxon Rank Sum Test. The Wilcoxon Rank Sum Test is a test that is used to compare if two independent samples were selected from populations that have the same distributions. The Wilcoxon Rank Sum Test is sometimes called the Man Whitney Test. The Z test and the T tests are the counterpart of the Wilcoxon rank sum test for independent samples in the parametric tests. Here are the formulas that are used in the computation of the Wilcoxon rank sum test. However, we are not going to use these formulas because Excel will use them. Our template. We'll also be using table E, but our Excel again will take care of it. Now, using the textbook of Alan Blumann entitled Elementary Statistics A Step by Step Approach, copyrighted 2018, we will be using example 13 4 entitled times to complete an obstacle course. Two independent random samples of Army and Marine recruits are selected, and the time in minutes it takes each recruit to complete an obstacle course is recorded, as shown in the table. At alpha equals 0 0.05, is there a difference in the times it takes the recruits to complete the course? We are here given with two groups of data, the Army and the Marines. These numbers here stand for the minutes each recruit completes the obstacle course. Now it's time to encode the two groups of data in Excel template. The data coming from the Marines will be encoded first because it has the smaller sample and then the army data will follow. It's better to encode first the data with a smaller sample so that we can easily copy their data ranks in column D. So we have our Excel template. The Excel template has two worksheets, the data worksheet and the worksheet for computation. We are going to, to encode the data in the cells colored blue. So since I am already encoding the data before or previously, I'll just be copying it and pasting it in Excel template. Notice that we copy and paste or we encode the smaller data first for its ranks, data ranks to be copied easily along the D column. The next is the data from the army to be encoded in Excel template. Now that we are done encoding the data in Excel, we are going to copy the data ranks of the smaller data, smaller groups of data into the column D. Take note that the last three values of the first group of data are 15, 18, and 25. So we have to copy the data ranks until the data rank of 25. Copy and then paste. After doing the after pasting the data, we are given that the sum of ranks of smaller data is 93 and the smaller sample, that from the Marines, is 11. 
bigger sample from the army is 12. This will be used in the computation of the Wilcoxon rank sum. In this, set, in this worksheet, we need to encode the level of significance alpha and the tail from the problem. Going back to the problem, the alpha is 0 0.05. Now the tail is inferred from the question of whether there is a difference in the times it takes the recruits to complete the course, which means that the tail here is 2 because it does not give any direction of whether an army or marine is lesser or bigger. So we encode 0 0.05 and the tail of 2. Now the entries of this Excel template will be used particularly on the decision on the null hypothesis which is reject. This means that the problem is there a difference in the times it takes the recruits to complete the course the null hypothesis of there is no difference is rejected. That is how my Excel template is used in the computation of the Wilcoxon rank sum test. A blessed day to everyone. God bless you all.